Michael. Who are you on the phone with? Did you ever meet Seth from college? Hi. No, no, no. Ego. In you go. <laughs> Seth. Sorry I'm late. I had a congratulatory phone call from Stephen Hawking. An honor, sure, but just. You know what it's like to have someone who's like you, but just a little bit better? Uh, this is my girlfriend, Molly Wintle. If Seth Tobin has a girlfriend, it means... Oh, God, it means I'm the last guy from my group of friends at school to have a serious relationship. The last. Hi. Uh, uh, this is my girlfriend, Alex Garrett. You need a girlfriend tonight? I don't know this Seth guy. I'll be your girlfriend. Okay, Mom, no. I could do it. Yeah, I could be your girlfriend. I didn't know you were seeing anyone. How long have you guys been together? Uh, well, it's hard to say, in a way, because for a long time, he didn't want to be exclusive. This dog's got to run. <laughs> We've been together about three months? We've been together five. That's two months more, 61 days. 1,464 hours. 87,840 minutes. minutes. He's this super competitive guy. How could you? What? First you break up with me, and then you show up here with this tramp? No. It's almost nine. There'll be a visible pass by the International Space Station soon. Molly and I share a passion for the night sky. Oh, how nice. Michael and I share a passion for sex in public. <laughs> we'll be outside. <laughs> sex in public? Where'd that come from? I read about it in Cosmo. 60% of us do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you see that plate of food Seth just brought for Molly with the chicken skewers and the mini hot dogs? I guess. Molly just told me she's a vegetarian. If they've been together for five months, he would know that. You know, I noticed another weird thing. She didn't know about Seth's asthma. It sends him to the hospital like every other week. It doesn't seem like they know each other very well. Do you think she could be a fake girlfriend? Let's find out. Uh, hey, Molly. <laughs> Which one's better, Jedi or Empire? I don't know. Uh, she's fake. <laughs> That's such typical Seth. He could have just come to the party alone, but instead he goes through all this trouble just to one up. Well, he's not going to get away with it. I'm a lawyer. I'll just pretend he's a defendant for a very, very geeky crime. Oh, well, they're splitting up. Good. Divide and conquer. You take nerdly. Okay. <laughs> so, tell me, uh, how exactly did you and Seth meet? I don't know if you noticed, but I've been working out. Oh, yeah, I, I've, I've, been, I've been working out, too. Oh, yeah? I'm bench pressing 90 pounds. <laughs> Can you bench press your body weight? <laughs> what do you think Molly and Alex are talking about? Oh, it's girl stuff. Then either it didn't happen that way, or both you and Seth are in violation of the U.S. Fisheries Act of 1988. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. The answers aren't in there, Miss Wintle! <laughs> something she'd like to say. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go home. What do you mean? Seth, the game is up. We know she's not your girlfriend. Oh, my God. Seth, why? Why did you lie? So I could beat you for once, OK? What are you talking about? You're... Let's see, you got in the Caltech's doctoral program. I got rejected. You got this killer apartment. I live at home and share a bathroom with my grandmother. <laughs> I never win. That's how you feel about me? Look, OK, I have to tell you something. Alex isn't real. You built her? Yeah, no, I do. I mean, she's, she's not really my girlfriend. OK, yes, I, I asked her to pretend to be my date tonight to impress you, because I, I feel like I never win. Wow. Makes you think? Yeah. So I, I guess we both kind of learned our lesson. I learned it first. Well, I learned it better. I kind of already knew it, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that started. Geeks, geeks, geeks. We're done. Try some! Let's do that!